This is a quick video on a fix I found for an issue where DHCP relay was not working on a router. I'm logged into a Catalyst 9300 here, but I've read about folks having this issue on other models like the 3750X and the 3850 as well. And I expect this issue is probably not limited to just these three models and could happen across many different pieces of Cisco hardware. So if I take a look at the VLAN interface here, you can see that I have the helper address configured and the interface has an IP address and everything and this DHCP server is reachable. But whenever a client comes online on VLAN 5, it's not getting an IP address. And in this case, this was actually caused by one line that snuck into the config. You can see here that in the show run output, there is this line no service DHCP and it took a while to find this since it's up at the very top of the config, even above the host name. And what this command does, if we look at the tooltip, You can see here that it explains that it enables the DHCP server and relay agent, which is the part we care about. I don't believe I've ever came across a device that came with this in the config by default. So most likely if this is in the config, it was probably entered at some point, which can be a common thing to run into if you're coming into an environment that you didn't set up from the beginning, or if you're using a config template that was kind of tailored for layer two switches that never really needed DHCP services before. Anyhow, to turn it off, you just jump into global config mode here and say service DHCP and then hit enter. Doing this re-enables DHCP relay and at this point the client devices on this VLAN were able to successfully obtain an IP address from the server and this helper statement. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share. It's not the most advanced topic to cover but this line does a pretty good job of hiding in the config and seeing as it grinds DHCP services to a halt it can be a pretty big headache to troubleshoot. So I just thought I'd put this information out there and hopefully save somebody a little bit of time. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button if it was helpful, and thanks for watching.